languages, like all the pizza on a stick and wants to talk, one of them tacos and you're being started talking and this is like, oh, are they thinking like that? So psychological things, you and know? And it has to have a voiceover. Of yeah, 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 yeah. A voiceover. But we're going to put actors, so no voiceovers. Don't worry about that. So I mean, but when they talk, I mean, when they think, Mm -hmm. they have to well, it, it could just be told through like expressions yeah. or like just them speaking to each other like you know like um facial expressions body expressions that sort of stuff so it doesn't have to have like an inside voice because it'd be yeah. confusing when you have yeah. different inside voices so if you that's what is really good um because if you just use the cameras the cameras will convey what they feel and think about each other in that room so yeah so you know you get it yeah. no you still don't get it yeah i do I just say that we can use voiceover only when they're thinking, for example, the rich girl, she's like, oh, this guy, whatever, and she's on her mind, you know, not listening to what she's saying. We can that use that like, as well. It's because it might get too cluttered, but also you kind of don't want to spoon feed the audience what's going on. You want them to kind of see the chaos unfold themselves, you know, because then you'll say you've got that shot where, like, someone's in focus in the front, but someone's unfocused in the back. Someone's like saying some dumb, dumb shit and someone in the back's like. Mm. Like you don't have to say, wow, that guy is stupid, isn't it? But you just see that and then you find that like, like mm. you know? Something like that. I mean we it maybe later on we might start Write down some things. I've got recording. Are you recording? recording. Okay, nice. <laughs> I just started recording. So I like the thing. How are we gonna call it? The thing. With the name of the film. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. Might come to us later on in the process. Yeah. So we're gonna have four crackheads in a row. I mean, that's a good title. Uh, crackheads in a row. <laughs> crackheads in a row. <laughs> or surprising. What is it? Because this is like a a flower sprouting. If you know what I mean. Like they're all coming out. You know. It's more like a derailed train going into a mountain, you know, just like, like downward spiral. Like, I, cause I kind of, in my mind, visualize it as like really kind of wacky sort of gestures and stuff, very lively. So it's kind of like this normal situation pushed towards absolute extreme. So like them going for like a lot of the flies, like picking up chairs about to like, about to do that. But then as soon as the door opens, they're sorry, not today, how about tomorrow? They're all like, sure, yeah, we'll come back tomorrow. So that's like, I guess the twist, but that's kind of like, I don't know. Well, shall we just make like a house party, like cliche a little bit, but, <laughs> but we can make like a house party. I mean, is it and there is like, you know, like this, where people from different backgrounds, as you say. Um, yeah, they like the host is the one that invites them, and then it's like a kind of, a trap, trap. Tra so he wants them to kill each other because you know people is ambitious and maybe they offer money or something. And at the end, just saying like, uh, people. I mean, the conclusion can be that ambitious people sometimes make them blurry their minds, you know, think reasonable. So, yeah, because there can be like two ways of going out and like fighting for money or just helping someone who's dying, maybe. I don't know, we can try and we can create like a history with that. I don't know if you guys understand. I'm still sure. I'm making something. Is that so? There's a twist in here. Yes. Is it a requirement? Does it doesn't say it has to be a twisting thing. It doesn't have, I mean, it can be. I would like to. I, don't know. Yeah. I guess it will make it more interesting. Because that the idea I have is a pretty safe idea. And I just imagine the camera and the body movements of the people who sell how yeah, interesting it is. But I see what you mean to make it more of an interesting environment to be in. So the set is a house, a house party. And it could be like a bunch of people locked in a bar from the never going home or something. Yes. Or well, they're like, they're missing the best part of the party and they're like really pissed off. And then they start taking it out of each other. Can be. Maybe aggressive sometimes. Sorry? Aggressive. Yeah. Just don't show it. 
But the thing is, we need to show how it can be related to tribes and territories. For me, the tribes and territories is in the people. Those people who represent their own tribes and their own territories. And then collecting the life like stuck in a room. You know, it's just because what we saw in, in what Andy showed us was like these uh, people in war. Yeah. And what else? I just remember that. Yeah. His tribe was like he was in the army. That was his tribe. Uh, but with these people, they're. They the are the idea for the narration POV, the way they talk in their head, and you put them out. Very nice idea to put it in yours. You know, because, for example, I'm sitting, for example, I'm one of the characters, I'm like, uh, oh, you go right, basically, I want to start a fight. And, fight. and then my narration hit it. This stupid fuck, what do you think it is? And you go straight, you move the camera into another character and you stop that. I like that. That's how that I always think. Is And we can call it one song your mind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, Something like that. The thing is, I want, I really want to do your idea. Right? Yeah, me too. I like yeah. it the first. Yeah, because I can plan out everything. I'm a good plan out. So I can organize everything by time and by the time we can finish and what we can work on. So I need you to plan out, I'll plan out. I need you to write down the characters, the scene, and where you can be, and also where, and you say the locations of some places, you know, anywhere. That's never been outside, so like, I don't know what places there are, what people meet. <laughs> I, know I mean, like, because we need only three characters, isn't it? Three or three, four. Three or four, you know. Three, I think. Five max. Nah, nah, three is enough. We don't. I can invite a friend from, she was in this course last year, she okay. can help us. I think we need four, perhaps four. Why do we need four? It's too much work. I don't know, three might seem like a bit small. Four mm -hmm. seems like there could be dynamics between two of them, or three of them. And we can use those, Instead of just a trio, those because techniques we just saw. You know? oh, too much, uh, how many minutes we have to do with? Much ten minutes? About ten minutes. No, three ten minutes. He said, yeah, it, it's um, literally anything above ten minutes. And the thing he says, like <laughs> three ten minutes. But he says, you're not going to make me feel three ten minutes. Of three what ten is minutes the deadline for the show? Oh, five ten minutes. He does it brief. Three to ten minutes. Well, when is the deadline for this one? Uh, March twenty second. Twenty third, actually. Oh, one day ticket. after my birthday. Oh, oh yes, yeah, it is. Anyway, so I like your idea. I'm I I like that like the thing of the camera like focus on one person and then moving and focus yeah. on the person yeah. and zoom in a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I know. I want scripting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I can script it if you like. Do scripting. I would love to record. You can record, yeah. I'm gonna do. I think I did a good job the other day. Yeah. Uh, okay, so scripting, record. Uh, and the edit. Edit. Just <laughs> you know you said you were going to show you know me. Yeah, I know how to do this. You said this. you were going to show me how to edit with Premiere. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and what is Sid gonna do? He should be here. Where's Sid? He wasn't complaining. He was complaining that you're never dying and his group is up here. Look at him! Look at him! Where is he now? Yeah, you know, said come here. Bro, he's making excuses. That's so, alright. Oh, you know what, oh, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? And he say we'll pull our thing and then. Listen, we're gonna pull out. We're gonna make him carry the camera. But then he wants to do the cameraman. Carry, carry, no, do it. Anyway. Okay, people, we need people. Let the phone okay, here. I can. Oh, I know. I need to get on the phone. That's signal. See. Uh, what else? Okay. You just I mean, we already have a brief of what we're gonna do. We said that we might need four people. I think four people is good. Yeah. Okay. Can you do scripting for four people? Yeah. And. What else? We need the location where it's going to be. Mm. Why can't we do something? 
What did Andes Andy said? Is he going to provide so us if you, if with help or from actors or we ha all we have to? He said he can grab some actors from some school down at Yeah, even course. I know my my brother's from school. I had a fight with my brother, so I don't want to. Talk to him. <laughs> okay, now that's why he's got a school of actual actors. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be down to it. In the location. Now the thing is, the beauty of this thing is that it's because it's a room, only just with one location. Yeah. You know? So, but I don't know what kind of location that would be interesting enough to be. In. Do you guys know? I'm anywhere? trying to think. I think here as well. I because I don't know anything in London. I don't live here. <laughs> I know a oh. studio oh. in. Oh. It could be just someone's house or a park or some park. Vlog. But why is going? Like, this is going to be the people in an. Are they going to an interview, to house party? Are they going for interview? I originally thought I was an interview. I, I think an interview will be very great because in the interview times you're always stressful. You know that. So testing an uh, yeah, yeah, interview, I think an interview will be great. And we put them in a suit and tie and everything that would be good. What's on your mind? Yeah, that's on my mind. I've been to a lot of interviews, so uh, okay. So we have to get a place. But we need to represent the. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, let's How? figure out those trials. What kind of people go in for interviews? So in my mind, there's like um, you've got like a nervous wreck who's got all the qualifications. Oh, legit, no, so it's just, you know. Write it down. It's been recorded. <laughs> You've got like some high end kind of thinks a lot about themselves, can kind of finesse their way through talking about it. Not too many not too many qualifications but feels very good about themselves about it. You've got some middle of the range, not kind of every guy, but like kind of like a chill thinks it'll be good for the company's morale, H HR or whatever. Yeah. Be like, yeah, I'm good. And uh, you've got someone who literally is just there just so they're not on the street without a job. Yeah, that's good. That's so good. you've got some people who are there for different reasons for different about themselves. So stuff. you can make a script for fifteen minutes. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can write that down. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good challenge. I probably don't think of it. That and you know what? I can do costume suggestions too. Do you want to see my account? No, this one. Oh, do you no. have the? Ah, yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. Over so <laughs> I only sell like two items there, and then one girl she, um, how could I say it? She bought a pair of shoes from me, but I didn't say they were rich. I just said they came from Colombia, and I was selling them for ten pounds. <laughs> and then she complained, and she she said that I. I, I yes, and and demands me on the and. Paypal and they closed my Paypal account and uh, what the what the only um, I was like it was only ten pounds. What else did you expect from that price? This is why you gotta specify everything so they don't find any loopholes. But you know they say that you can sell anything that's not a one hundred percent genuine. Oh I guess that means like no like fake Adidas. Uh, you cannot sell fake things there. And I was like, okay. Well, Gucci is making that's why eBay. No, yeah. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> this is whatever. Yeah. I buy a lot of stuff. Uh, I bought some stuff on Google. It was very good though. I never had a problem. So yeah, and that bitch asked me for the ten pounds. Asked me for the the delivery, and I was like, what the fuck? And I didn't earn a shit. You know, I I only earned like three pounds from there. And when she uh, said that, I had to get the money back. So I lost like twenty pounds. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Oh, sorry. You have to look out for those kind of people. Yeah, I think you there's... You've got to make sure they have nothing to complain about. Just make everything as clear as possible. I think there are some people that just dedicate to that. Oh, to no so basically, you have to do no return policy. Yeah. You just no return. return. You buy it, you send it away, so... But then they can... You know, they say that you sell a fake item oh, and they just ask for the money back. Uh, that's the app problem, that's not her problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, you might have to find some else. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Are you still recording? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They don't record it. Okay. Oh, well, what else? Um, so, oh, I don't mind doing question suggestions, because obviously I, I can't buy things. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Someone who's got like just a shiny shirt on, like some old trousers. Or you've got someone who's gotten something designer yeah, or something very clean and crisp. Yeah. You know? What the heck? Do you have any ideas of locations? It's something to look a bit professional. Yes. I remember that in Walls and Library there was a studio. They do? Where? They were, they were using people who were going there for music. I think you can go there and ask about it, but I don't know who. It's a long time ago, I was studying in that library. Run of beans, because it's this. Who's them? How far away is it? 45 miles. Actually, less than 25 miles. Yeah, yeah, you can get a bus by there, you can go there. Because I work in an office. In this very fancy home, I don't know if they can let us record there. It doesn't have to look like an office. It's just like a plain room. We can make things in it. It's just a, a room that we can just be in. Oh, how is an interview room? Just an interview room can be anything. If you just we just need a blank slate, just some closet big enough for four people, and then we'll put little posters and little plants and whatever to make it look like a thing. But I don't know any rooms. I mean, we could maybe record on the roof, you know, that empty hallway. It has to look something like this, with sofas, yeah, whatever. You, have to, you see, that stuff we can add. You see how it's just basically an empty room. You can add anything else. Yeah. Mm. I'm hoping we can use the teacher's room over there. Which one? You know, there's a room over there. Jump. That was an inexcusable. So, camera, do you want to have a look? 